he wanted it to feel like a bridge. He was very aware of his responsibilities to prepare the country for the 21st century and used a lot of that, those metaphorical words in his speeches. All of that helped us design because what designers search for um, is, are really the metaphors that come out of the experience of the people who live the experience. We went to people whose lives were affected by the policies and interviewed them. So this presidential library isn't just a, a collection of what the president owned or was gifted with, but in fact it's a collection of stories about people's lives whose, uh, whose well-being and sense of family were changed uh, because they lived uh, uh, during this time. robust and exciting. So visiting the White House was amazing and of course what was unexpected was how how full it was in, in art and in books and uh, in paintings and objects and each one had a story. One of the things we noticed visiting him there is that coming there day after day things were a little bit different. There were new paintings or different um, objects put out. It was almost like being in an exhibit that he curated uh, maybe every day, but for surely every time I visited. It was fantastic. We were lucky to be awarded the project because I think the president found comfort in a number of our former commissions. I know he liked the Holocaust Museum in Washington very much. And, and we had just finished uh, the Rose Center, the planetarium here in New York, that extraordinary sphere in a glass box, where we collaborated with uh, Jim to take the story of the evolution of the universe and tie it into a visitor journey through that great building of Jim's. So that again, the story, the exhibits, the media and experiences were seamless to the architecture that building, which is positioned really as a metaphorical bridge to the 21st century, joins the other set of bridges in Little Rock. It's an extraordinary place to visit. You're elevated above this beautiful 30-acre park. You're looking out at North Little Rock, looking out across the water. There's a sense of optimism and hopefulness. We made sure that our exhibits uh, help people move towards uh, the light at the end of this long bridge-like structure. The exhibit has a very simple plan and you can't actually take the circulation of the building away from the way the architecture was designed. It's, it's one place. You move into an oval theater that really orients you to the president's early years. But that oval theater actually rises through three floors forming not only the oval office above but in fact forming the uh, conference and dining area up in the residence. From the uh, orientation film, you move out into a cabinet room uh, and you find out how decisions were made in, in a collaborative way. You can choose to be the Secretary of the Interior, if you like, and find out the kinds of issues that were discussed in that room and the kinds of information that was presented to the President so that he could make a decision about policy. We organize it like a library. You don't have to walk through this in one specific way. You can walk through it in any way you like. You can do it encyclopedically. Uh, you can walk through it by time. And you can walk through it by themes. The experience that we've had in making this project is finding a, a, a curator in chief, which was really the president, who really wanted to share uh, what he owned and what he came to learn about living in the White House with the rest of the public. So this is a chance for us to bring people back to uh, policy issues and decisions that really affected uh, how we lived and how we work and how we live today. One of the fascinating things about that period of time, it was a time when well, people around the world liked us and when uh, 
and when we talked often, daily, about issues that really affected everyday Americans and affected people's lives and jobs and well-being, it was a presidency of great ideas. It was a time when those ideas could be put into work. That's, of course, the one thing that everyone will learn going to this exhibit.